Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we have the Glam Bag X. This is now their icon box for May 2023. I am so excited to dive in, show you what's in here, what I picked. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxings, different makeup boxes, different snack boxes, miscellaneous subscription box unboxings, and random shopping hauls. So if that sounds interesting to you, I hope that you join my YouTube family and subscribe. Um, this is a quarterly subscription box. And now that Ipsy and BoxyCharm merge together, and they're kind of just one whole big subscription base. So there's no, um, it used to be called the Glam Bag X, but now it's the Icon Box. So I'm excited to see what's in here. Let's dive in. And it is $65, I want to say, or $66 a quarter. All right, so when you open it up, it looks like this. I do not understand these papers that they have now. They had this last time too in like my Boxy Charm Box, um, which is the old ipsy glam bag plus and i just didn't understand the appeal of it so this month the curator is anastasia i believe yep um by beverly hills right so anastasia beverly hills this is just a little pamphlet here it tells you some of the items that you could get in your box some add-ons possibly and then also some price points which you may see for some of the items this month let yourself bloom is kind of like the theme and it tells you some like myths, facts, and it, like about SPF and makeup is good enough. Um, so all of that stuff, it tells you about like things. The first thing in my box is this Ole Hendrickson Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. This was an item that was chosen for me. I'm kind of excited about this to try it out. I know that it's a super good brand and it is pricey, so that's how it looks. This is the 1.7 ounce and it is i have to see if there's like the price for this but i don't believe so yeah no so this is not but when you open it up it does look like this so it's sealed i'm not gonna open it but it does smell nice even through the packaging okay so that's the first thing um let's see what's next the next thing in my box is this ren glow and protect serum serum Radiant and smoother skin. This is the one fluid ounce and it says clean skin, clean planet. And that's how the packaging looks. I think it's super nice. I like that. And I don't think there's a price on this as well. Yeah. Not that I see. No. Okay. So that's the next item in here. And that item was chosen for me as well. The next thing I have is this Le Prunier Plum Sunscreen. Looks like this. This item I actually chose because I wanted to try like a different type of sunscreen. And I saw that it was pretty expensive. I think when I was choosing it was like $100 or so. And that's how it looked. And it's a 31 SPF, which is good. Um, you want to have anything above 30. Usually that's a pretty good number, especially that I'm so pale. I usually like to use a little bit higher because I burn just right away. The next thing in here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. And this I believe is in the number four. Yep. And this was chosen for me. So that's how it looks. I wonder if the price on it is up here of this one since it is an ABH product. Um, yes. So it says here that $29 is the concealer. All right, so that's that item. Then we have the Milk Commodity Sense Base Expressive for me and the many around me. This is the perfume, like the fragrance. I chose this product because I didn't like the other choices. I'm not going to open it up, but I, I've tried it before, so I just figured I can gift it as a gift for someone. The next thing in here is the Volition Golden Eye Brightening Serum. It looks like this. Oh, and then the SPF actually in here. Let me just check. Is $78 and then the Ren Clean Skin Care is $69. Um, yep, so they did have that there. Okay, so this is the brightening eye serum. You can never get enough eye serum. I am trying everything to get these bags from under my eyes to get better. All right, so that's 
Let's open it up and see how it looks. Okay, so it looks like that. And this is 0.5 fluid ounces. Okay. The next thing we have in here is this Beauty Creations. I think it's like a lip oil or something. Let's see if I can get the packaging off. I just liked how it looked. So I was excited. It was chosen for me, but I was kind of happy about it just because I like that it's aesthetically pleasing. So it looks like that. Oh, wait, no, this was my add-on. That's what it was. So it looks like this. I think it's green apple. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Mm hmm I like this. It's not tacky. It smells really good, just like green apple. That was the item I chose. Um, it's the roller gloss as like from my points, I think. Yep. The next thing I have in here is this brow definer triangular brow pencil. This is in the color medium brown. And I do think this has like a 20. Um Twenty something dollar value. Twenty six. Yep. So that's how it looks. That's the pencil. All right. And then we have two more items. This is the Beauty Stat Universal Pro Bio Moisturizer Boost Cream for all skin types. It's sealed. I'm not going to open this. I've gotten this before. I think it was like in Boxy Charm. Maybe even Ipsy before. Okay. And then the last thing is this item, which I remember choosing. This is the Ready With Boost. So it looks like this. And I think this was $100 or so. And this is the device. It's in lav uh, Lavender Calm. So, okay. And then it tells you that you can scan to register it and all of that. And then when you open it up, this will kind of like come off or whatever. I don't know if there's a price for it. Yeah, so it's $199. So I'm excited to try this out and see how it works and open it up. So that's everything from my box. I think they did a pretty good job for the first icon box and smerging with Boxy Ipsy together and removing the old name, which was the Glam Bag X. But I think it's a pretty good value. I'm super happy with my products that I was able to choose some of them. I think it's a great box. I'm especially happy with the um, roller gloss, even though that was my points the corrector, the SPF um, sunscreen. Really happy with these products. Can't wait to try them out. I'll let you guys know how they work. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. What did you choose? Did you get the choices that you wanted? I would love to hear from you all. So let me know down below. And again, thank you everyone so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you stick around for more unboxings of different makeup boxes, snack boxes, miscellaneous subscription box unboxings, and random shopping hauls. Bye everyone.